Greetings all, David from MechaTop here. Today, I'll be giving you an overview of the MechaTop tabletop system. MechaTop is a tabletop game for one to 10 players that lets you use your own model kits to bring the battle to life. For standard size mecha, we use octagonal bases, six inches or 15 centimeters in diameter with smaller square bases for support vehicles. Each unit is represented by a stat card, which contains all the information needed for gameplay. Point cost is the primary way the game balances units from so many sources. This cost takes into account all of a unit's capabilities, weaponry, and durability. Movement speeds include tank, slow, average, fast, and jet. The specific distances are determined by the scale of the models being used. Megatop includes rules for scales from 1 48th to 1 2000th. Structure points and armor determine how much damage a unit can sustain and how many dice it rolls when defending against an attack, respectively. Finally, any special traits or abilities of the mecha are also listed. The unit's weapons are also listed, and each weapon lists where it can be equipped, its range, damage, and how many dice are rolled to attack, and any other traits of the attack, such as if it requires a reload or deals stun damage. Lastly, we come to the heart of the cockpit control system, the five button tokens. Attack is used to fire weapons or counterattack. Movement is used to move or dodge an incoming attack. Change is used to reload or switch weapons. Hold is used in conjunction with other buttons for more actions, such as double attack or boost. And the end button is used for the abilities of the nuclear progeny pilot class. Now you can only place two buttons each turn, so you must consider your strategy and your opponent's response when doing so. There are three core pilot classes, each with passive and active abilities that can drastically impact the flow of battle. Leaders, builders, and nuclear progenies. More pilot classes are included in the first campaign book. Each pilot card displays the name, rank, and alias of the pilot, along with their class, special abilities, and stun damage counter. Before a match starts, all players must agree on point limits for the teams and any special rules. Once teams and pilots are chosen, upgrade cards can be equipped. These cards add abilities or equipment to your unit, but they also increase the point cost in most cases. Once teams are selected, players choose the button tokens for each unit and declare what weapons are currently equipped. Players will then roll off to place their units on the field and to determine who activates first. During the round, players take turns activating their units one at a time, performing actions and reactions until all units have activated. Then the players reset their button tokens and roll initiative for the next round to begin. When your unit is attacked, you can respond in a variety of ways, including dodging, counterattacking, or blocking with a shield or armor. There are a variety of game modes to enjoy using the Mecha Top system. Solo mode can be played using a card or dice-driven AI to determine your opponent's actions and reactions which is a great way to test new units or team combinations. In a duel, each player controls a single unit of equal point value. In a skirmish, each player selects a team with an agreed upon point value. Campaigns are structured, story-driven battles that can have special victory conditions, such as occupying or destroying a certain structure or holding out for a certain number of turns against a larger force. Tournaments are structured matches played with predetermined rules with a large number of players. These are just the basics. To learn more, stay tuned for more videos that will cover gameplay, rules, and other elements in more detail. Until then, stay vigilant, and good hunting to all the brave Mecha Top pilots out there.